What's up YouTube? It's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm getting ready for an out of state hunt. This time around I'm going to be heading up to Michigan to do about three or four days of hunting. So I was up there around Christmas together with my girlfriend visiting her family. And while I was there I was kind of hiking around and I did a lot of scouting and I found some really cool areas that had a lot of buck sign. And so on that, in that moment I decided I had to come back to hunt it. So we're heading up there right around the rut. I'm going to be meeting up with her cousin, Colin. I'm about to give him a call because he just went out there today and hung up a bunch of cameras that I sent him and we're going to see what he found. I don't know if you've heard this before, but Swamp and Stomp does a quarterly giveaway, meaning we're going to give away some really cool gear every few months. Uh, this time around, we have some really awesome stuff we're giving away. You can click this link right up here to find out what we're giving away and how to get in on that giveaway. And now, we're going to call Colin. What's, What's up, man? Up? How you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm chilling, man. So, do you see any good stuff while you're out there? I'm going through that thick brush area, just a maze of uh, uh, deer beds and tracks all over the place. And, you know, some of the areas are pretty thick, so you can tell that, that the deer were using the food plots as kind of a, like a highway to get from one area to the next. Yeah. Because they can move through there pretty quick, I'm sure. Yeah. There's a lot of pretty heavy tracks. Um, we got rain here not too long ago, uh, just a few days ago, so there's a lot of pretty fresh tracks. Oh, that's you cool. You can kind of see where they were headed in and out between the bedding areas. So I put a couple cameras up kind of in the, some of those entrance areas where you can see there's some pretty heavy traffic going on. Cool. But, uh, I did, I did find quite a bit of so I'm uh, in Michigan. I just arrived last night, and uh, as you can see, it's not good weather. Uh, this is basically the weather that it's going to be for the next four days, which is all the days that I'm here. So I'm going to have to make the best of it. Um, anyway, I'm going to shoot my bow real quick. Make sure that it's shooting good after that flight. You never know if uh, they toss your luggage around. It might uh, bang up your sight. And uh, you don't want to find that out when you got a big buck in front of you. There you go. 20 pin is money. That'll do. Let's go hunting. Finally heading out to the woods. Walking down to this area that I scouted during Christmas last year. And uh, finally kind of stopped raining. It's kind of just drizzling right now. Everything's soaking wet. The leaves have no crunch. So it's a perfect time for me to kind of sneak around, pick up these cameras and just get an idea of where the sign is. All right, so this first camera is um, right on a little trail facing a, a food plot that last year had corn in it. <clears throat> right now it's barren. So the second camera, it's like 100 yards from the first one in this big bedding area that we found. And as you can see, there's tons of trails that go back in there. The camera was right here. And there's actually rubbing on this tree right here. So we might have some cool pictures. The next camera is in the same bedding area, but further down. I'm gonna go grab that. And then I think I got one more. I was moving through that bedding area. There was a bunch of doe beds. I'm trying to get to the other camera, but I came across. I got a really fresh buck bed. There's a bunch of rubs like right at the entrance of this trail that goes into some nasty shit. There's like a little creek. I was trying to cross it, but it was like super deep mud. But I had huge buck tracks right next to it. So I tried to find another way around and I just started finding rub after rub. And um, came across a bed that wasn't completely wet. And it's been raining all morning, so I figured he would be close. So I backed out. I'm going to go around the other way 
to get to the cameras, but there's some trees back there that I think I could set up on. So I'm gonna go grab those cameras from the other side, hopefully find a way in to be able to get close to them. cameras uh, there's a lot of buck sign in this uh, little like I guess island of trees I really want to sit right there but the problem is that the winds blowing out towards where I think the buck's gonna come from um, and in fact there was a, a really nice buck uh, in front of one of the cameras uh, that was out there like a few hours before I got there and I found some really fresh sign um, like a bed that was kind of dry while it had been raining all morning so he was probably laying there uh, and probably heard me coming and, and got up and, and left so chances are he's, he's in the area uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in on the back side um, I'm going to go in there and set up there because I'll be able to see a long ways um, and I should have the wind in my favor so hopefully that buck will pop out the other side of the island and uh, give me an opportunity that's the plan So I'm up in my tree finally. It's like it's way too late. That's what time it is. It's five o'clock. I only have like two hours of shooting time left, but I came out here to uh, there's a tree a little ways back that way that when I was here in the December it was great. It was a perfect tree that was um, bunch of trails around it stuff like that I got over there this time there's no trails it's just a big thicket came a little further back here because I wanted to be able to see a little further I mean I could see like 500 yards into this marsh over here um, really just kind of looking to see if there's deer moving around in the marsh where I really want to be is a couple hundred yards that way that's where there's a nice shooter buck um, got him on camera a couple times and I basically figured out where he's bedding but the wind is kind of blowing back that way so the only spot that I, the only tree I found where I could really set up on him the wind would be blowing right to where I'd expect him to come from so <clears throat> For this sit, I'm really just kind of biding my time. Tomorrow the wind's going to switch for the afternoon hunt. So I'll sit here again in the morning. Hopefully I'll get an idea of where there's some other deer that we can mess with. marsh and they were bounding out like running away it wouldn't surprise me if there's a hunter in the woods on the other side there's a giant buck 
He's just standing on the edge of this marsh. He's just bedded down right there. It's a giant, giant buck. This is just too funny. So, I saw those two deer bust out of there. So, I figured there's another hunter. So I start looking and I just see a, like a huge rack just sticking out above the song or the, um, the cattails. I'm like, check it, this is just a giant, like the biggest buck I've ever seen in my life. He's right there. Okay. I go to look back in my binoculars and the buck's gone. And then I see a guy and it, I'm like, oh my God, this guy is spotting, stalking this giant buck right now. And I'm gonna get to watch him kill it from like 300 yards away. I keep watching and it's a freaking duck hunter and this duck hunter snuck within 30 yards of this big buck and the big buck just got up and walked away and the guy had no idea I can't believe it. it's Friday the 22nd right now back in the same spot where I saw the really big buck Again, I'm not expecting to shoot anything here, but I wanna see if I can see that buck again. And if I do, I'm gonna move over there. What one slight complication, ran into some duck hunters on the way in and they're setting up basically right in front of me. I hear a couple wood ducks out there, but it wasn't a lot flying. I'm hoping they're not going to be shooting very much. Hopefully I'll get to see that deer again. There's already some duck hunters out there, dude. There's already some duck hunters out there. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to be up with here. Oh, okay. I think it's safe to say that um, this place is kind of blown out. Seems like this is the uh, Michigan version of the STAs. Duck hunters going in and out of here. Funny thing was that was uh, That was the, the, the ranger or um, DNR officer person thing that pulled me over yesterday and checked my license and stuff. It's pretty nice to see the uh, people that are enforcing the rules are also the ones enjoying them. It means they actually know what they're talking about.
guys, so this morning set up in that bedding area and didn't see any deer. Uh, I was really surprised. We saw a ton of deer when we were walking in. They were definitely moving. Uh, but I guess, I don't know, I guess they're not really using that area. So switching it up, uh, yesterday I scouted a little bit. I found uh, what looks like a bedding area that's on the back side of where I saw that really big buck. I can't believe I've, I've hunted here for like three days now and I haven't actually had a deer in range. I've only seen them off in the distance. It's kind of crazy. So at this point, I'm really just trying to get eyes on a, a deer and, and my, uh, my window to to shoot a buck is, is getting smaller so at this point I'm basically going to take whatever presents itself. I really don't want to have to eat these tags so anything that shows up is getting an arrow. Turn left. Even though we had a ton of bucks on camera in that other area there's just a lot of hunters and a lot of pressure and I think that those bucks probably aren't likely to come out during the day. So um came over here because I saw that big buck. I apologize for my face being so close, but I'm trying to be real quiet. Um, but anyway, that big buck was like 100 yards out in front of me here. And there's like this cool kind of, it looks like a creek bottom, but it's not. It's just like a low point where the, wa the water kind of pulls up uh, when it floods. So there's a lot of uh, shrubs and, um, and young trees, uh, lots of cover for a buck to hide in. Um, looks like great bedding area and there's a trail that goes right back in there about 30 yards from me and There's a rub right at the entrance to that trail So I haven't been back there, but I guarantee that something's bedding down back there. So I Can see really far um, if anything comes through this strip of woods I should be able to see it so Hoping to at least get an idea if, of if there's something around here all right, so today is the last day that I'm hunting. Got to fly back tomorrow morning. Uh, this has been incredibly challenging, honestly. I, I have sat every morning and every evening next to some really fresh sign. And I haven't seen a deer in range yet. Um... I, I set up on this spot, it's, uh, I didn't even realize it yesterday how close I was to a food plot, but there's a food plot uh, kind of off to my right of where I'm set up, and um, it's um, it's totally tore up, like deer have to be hanging out in there, um, so I'm kind of hoping that they're on there this morning, and that I'm going to sneak in around the back, um, and I'll hopefully catch them coming off of that food plot. Um, let's see how that goes. It's another cold morning. It's a little warmer than yesterday, but it's like 35 degrees. It was nice because the leaves weren't crunchy, so it was easier to move. Um, I'm back in the same spot I was in yesterday. Even though I didn't see anything, I just feel like I just needed another sit with a food plot 100 yards to my right that's been totally destroyed. A bedding area to my left. The wind's blowing backwards, so if they come crossing through here, they're going to walk right in front of me at 20 yards. When I came in this morning, there was a it was a deer uh, about 80 yards from the stand and I, uh, I just kind of I knew something was up so I, I just waited and it eventually just walked away and I got up in my tree so hopefully it comes back at this point. <laughs>
All right, guys, that's a wrap for uh, this hunt in Michigan. Spent the last four days out here. Really struggled a lot to uh, get on the deer. Found some really nice sign. I was always set up on really good sign, but just couldn't make it come together. I wish uh, this trip was ending with a big buck down, but I learned a lot. Hopefully you guys learn a little bit from my experiences and you'll be more successful when you come out and try it. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell so you get notifications. And if you want to support the channel, go check out our Patreon. You can find it at www.patreon.com slash swamp and stomp. There you can uh, make small monthly donations that help us take the channel to the next level. So with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.